Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Making Lay with Miley. Alright guys, so for today's episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a lay po'o. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so if you recall from last video, what you're going to do is, you know, big leaves like this. And then what you're going to do with these leaves is you're going to cut it up into these little strips. And you're going to microwave them for about one minute so that it becomes... For this one, what you're going to need to do is you're going to take one of these strips and then you're going to cut parallelogram strips like that and they're going to look about this the bigger and the longer you make them the more full your hockey is going to be so what you're going to do is you're going to cut at least a fourth of these leaves into these small strips like that and then you're going to get some like bin like that or just a cardboard box to put them in Alright guys, so once you're done prepping, cutting into strips, and you have a big full on these, we're going to get ready to start breeding. So what you're going to do is you're going to take three leaves that are about the same length. And what you're going to do is you're going to breed them together. So make sure they're all facing the same way, like this. They're all in the same orientation, yeah. You're going to put them on top of each other, and then you're going to fold them together and twist it so it becomes one braid. And you're going to tie a knot. So you have this knot right, and you have these two leaves, and this is what you're going to use as your backbone to make your leg. So I like to use my toe and my foot to braid it, but you can tape it against the table or under a rock or anything you like. Alright, so once you're done breathing, it should look like this. And this is going to be for when you're going to tie the leg pole or under head. So remember, we tied on at the beginning, we braided. This should be a little less than shaka's length. So it should be about one shaka. And then once you're done with that, you're going to tie another knot. And then we're going to start the actual leg pull. All right, guys. So once you have the braid, I like to use my toes. Two or three strips. And make sure, try to make sure they're all relatively the same size and facing the same way. So you're going to have two or three strips like that, right? And then you're going to cross them each other. And you're going to put one in the middle and then fold it inwards. And it's going to become a little blanket like, like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to have two of the teeth on one side, one on the other. Put it in your hand. Then put this in and twist your teeth and wrap it around then what you're going to do again is you're going to grab a few more strips like that x and then put one in the middle and then fold it all right so now we have this what you're going to do is you're going to flip the old one upwards you're gonna take your new one put it on top of it and then you're gonna take the left teeth and wrap it around so that it locks it in tight like that and then flip it upwards and continue adding Alright, now, so we have this, this, and then this is our third strand. Now, this is short, so we're gonna do the same like last time with the regular two leaf legs. You're gonna take a whole new leaf, put it in so that there's a little bit sticking out, and then twist this, and then take your old leaf, which is this one, wrap it under and around your new one. like that and now we're gonna add in more leaves like that and then you have this one which is your new leaf your old leaf wrapped around your new leaf and just wrap it around like that and then there you go you're going to continue doing this process throughout the whole entire day.
you get to the end, what you're gonna do is you finish your last strand, right? And you have this right there. So what you're gonna do now is just gonna braid like you did at the very beginning. And make sure this part is really tight. So once you, we're gonna twist and go over and then the one underneath like that, pull it under and out so that it makes it super tight. You're just gonna braid a chakra's worth length of it because this part is going to be used to tie it around your head all right once you finish this it should look like this super tight right no air pocket so it can't come out and then you're gonna have a little bit left over and you're just gonna tie a knot like you did at the very beginning all right guys so this is the finished product and once you're done with it I like to flatten it out, so what you're going to do is because right now it's all on one side, you're just going to spread it apart in the middle to make it nice and full like that, yeah. And just take the pieces and pull them apart. And then the back should look like this, and if you need it longer, you can just pull it and it makes it tighter too. Makes the whole thing super tight. And I like to because then it stretches, yeah. And this is the finished product. The finished product should be about three chakra lengths like that. This is called a fole pole. If you want to make what's called a coupe, which is going to be something around your wrist, or you can wear it in your hair or something, that's going to be about one and a half chakra lengths. So about half of a fole pole. This, you can wear it around your head, or you can wear it around your papale. You can also make it a lot longer so that you can wear it as a lei like this i mean mine's a lot longer so i can wear it as a full-on lay or i can tie it around my pupale and it'll look like that mahalo nui loa for watching and tune in to next time on making lay with my lay shoots